In this edition of Life at 50, join my friends and I as we try out this famous Spanish restaurant in Bangsa and try some of their famed Iberico ham. Cheers! So this is the menu at Leonardo's. They have a selection of bar bites as seen here. And their cold cuts are very famous. They source 100% Iberico ham for all their cold cuts. They, they have some starters as well. And Iberico suckling pig is their signature dish. They use this pork for various dishes. They use it for the Iberico tomahawk. Iberico barbecue ribs, Iberico bakute, bangers and match, pork belly seasick, smash Iberico pork burger, and also their pork knuckle. For those not into pork, they also have some other main courses as well as some desserts to taste. We had a selection of bar bites to start off with. First was pigs in a blanket, and then some Iberico croquettes. Deep fried croquettes with creamy Iberico pork filling and some Nyonya Loba, deep fried Nyonya five spice pork roll. Cold cuts are a, a Mediterranean tradition. Cold cuts? So, what, what, what is this? Sebo so paleta, beef tang, chorizo. All pork is that? Yes. Uh, what are cold cuts? Simply put, they are cured meats which have been preserved through the process of salting, drying and aging. And of course, the most famous cold cuts were from the Iberian Peninsula, Iberian ham. This famed Iberian ham comes from the Iberian Peninsula bordering Portugal and Spain. Black Iberian pigs are reared in the Iberian Peninsula and are fed acorns. These acorns are rich in nutrients and fatty acids and they are a super food for the pigs. Hamon comes from the rear leg of the pig is the best prepared ham and the second best is paleta, the front legs of the pig. And the rest of the meat are used to make chorizo as shown here. After 15 months in the wild, these pigs are killed and then they are salted for 15 to 20 days with the best quality sea salt. After salting, the meats are kept for 2 months in a temperature control room and then they are moved to an airing room for 6 to 9 months to take in the aroma and air of the Iberian mountain side. Then they are salad for 2 years and up to 4 years before they are ready to be eaten. Finally, carving the ham is really an art and you need a lot of experience to do it. What is important is the slice, the thickness, the evenness of the cut. These carved slices of ham are then laid on a plate ready to be eaten and enjoyed. What is that? What's that? Skin. No, no, no. This one is salami. Oh, you like salami? Uh. So how are the chorizos made? Well, other parts of the pork, apart from the four legs, the paleta and the hind legs, the hamon, are then ground and mixed with seasoning, which are a mixture of paprika, salt and garlic and left for 24 hours. This is done to season the meat. The meat is fed into the intestines of the pork and left in an airing cupboard. After a month or so in the airing cupboard, then the chorizo is ready to be eaten. Cheers! Like with the wine. Nice with the wine. How do you find that? Now I know. Out, 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 out. Out, out. You, you come in my video hall, you get shot. So, Raghu, uh, you're here at the dinner. Yeah. Okay, uh, the choice of whiskey for you is Glen Liver. Yeah. Founders Reserve 1824, the Balvini Double Wood Age Travier and Jameson. So what are you starting with? Jameson. So how do you find the Jameson? Uh, this is my favorite. Your stand, your go-to drink, your 
Good. Good. So please tell me about the other whiskey, eh? Okay, sure. Uh, how is it good, eh? Yes. You like it? Actually, yeah. What happened? It tasted really good. Spaghetti wine doesn't like fat, eh? No, this is a flat one. Fettuccine. Fettuccine. How is it like? Wow, see this uh, Hokkien Mee with the extra la. <laughs> a lot of la. Video, Shreya. Yeah? Oh. So our Hokkien Mee comes with a big prawn and there's extra lard and the chili paste. When they bake the cream, the oven, right? There's a juice. Nice mixture of the crispy lard with the soft pocket noodles. Shirley is bringing um, ragu's. Uh, what's this? Siti, are you? Steak. Uh, what? Rip pie. Yes, correct. Enjoy, sir. What is this, sir? Sauce. Sauce. Brown sauce. That one is. What is this? What is this? Sisik, sisik, sisik. Sisik, they call it sisik. Nice with what? Filipino dish. Yes, sir. Ah, it's a Filipino, a Filipino dish. Okay. okay. So we're trying the sisik. Is a Filipino delicacy. What is it? Sisik. What? What is it actually? S I S I G. So what? What is it actually? Do? It's something like a Filipino uh, salad that. Oh, okay. So the. So the it's a meat with mayonnaise, with some rice. It's quite good actually. Good for drinking. Yeah. yeah. Meat with the mayonnaise with the rice goes well. Look, dessert. So the 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 thing the sauce put where? The chocolate sauce put there. Caramel. Caramel, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What is that? Is it nice? Cynthia, tell me how it is. I don't know. You try it, tell me. You try first time, tell me. No. It's a good day, try it, tell me. Me, yeah. What are you trying? Date pudding. What do you mean, date? Dated? It's the fruit, the date pudding. Oh, dates? Okay, okay. Dated pudding. Dated pudding. How is it? Nice, sweet. Sweet, huh? Can you help? How? Kill them. The pudding is well contributed. I think it's not. You want me to say the truth, Dobla? Ah, true, true. It's a bit dry because it's not like a pudding, it's like a cake. It's not a pudding. After dinner, we went up to the higher floor where there was an open bar, nice sitting area to have some coffee and a bit of drinks after our heavy meal. The restaurant also had a nice open balcony where you could take in the sights and air of the Bangsa will town. Also you could have a look at the KL Tower and also Warisan 118, the new high-rise tower being built at Chinatown. The restaurant also had a nice selection of wines which were kept in a temperature control room. You can see here the restaurant has also won some awards for its fine dining. So please come and try it. Cheers! So that was our trip to Leonardo's to try some nice Spanish food. Till the next time for Life at 50. Cheers!